SK Hello YouTube. This is a quick video tutorial about putting lights and getting power into some of your cars or coaches. Uh, as you can see, I've got two GSU display here now. I've got an LGB Postwagon which comes with lights, the LGB one standard, and I've got an LGB uh, coach from a starter set which I've added lights to. Now, obviously, you can see slight difference with the lighting i've put led lighting in the coach which has had a very much white uh light to it whereas the traditional one from the post wagon has a more of a yellowy glow if i just turn the light out here you probably see that a little bit better there for the lgb wagon now both these are getting power from the track there's nothing connecting there's no batteries uh, connecting them in a daisy chain form they're all getting power from the track the way that i've done this is slightly different for each wagon and i'll just give you a quick demonstration now the one thing that i want you to notice when i pick this up watch it what happens to the actual lights they fade okay now the reason why they fade is because i've added some extra components to this now, it took me a little while to sort of look at, but I managed to get all the components in Maplins. What we've got are these track pickups. These are ball bearing wheels with track pickups coming off them. OK, now I've only got one set in here. I could ideally have two, but I don't really need them because what I've done, I put a bridge rectifier there because I'm going from analog to digital. Sorry, digital to analog. And I've got a little capacitor there as well to hold some charge. Uh, while if there's a break in the track or if say it goes over a piece of dirty track one thing you've got to remember with the locos a lot of locos have six pickups on them uh, from each sort of wheel some larger locos have up to 12 pickups on them but with this because i've only got the one pickup i needed something like the capacitor just to hold a little bit of charge while it goes over um, a break now with the lgb post wagon I haven't got anything on the end of the side of this bar pickups. Now, hopefully, the camera is going to pick this up. But what I've actually got here is these are metal wheels, and instead of having ball bearings in them, they've got little pickups there, which I can just about see. There's one on each wheel there. Okay, so there's one on the front set these and there's also one on the back set as well okay now what these are doing is they're constantly picking up from the track and because i've got two points of pickup i generally don't need the capacitor or anything else uh, like that there's two options as you can do this is the cheaper version if you've already got metal wheels if you haven't got metal wheels then you could consider the ball bearing version the ball bearing version is very very smooth if you have got the metal wheels, a set like this will cost you around about £8. The metal wheels for two are about £26. So there is a quite a considerable difference in there. Now, with this post wagon, you've got two lamps on the side. Now, this is a very old post wagon, so these have still got the old type bulbs. I'm not sure if LGB have actually moved over to LEDs yet, but I would have thought they would have or they are, will be moving. They've also got a bulb inside there as well, which is uh, 24 volt. So it works very, very well. Now you'll also notice that inside this post wagon, there's two brass strips. So if you wanted to, you could run additional things such as more lights in this compartment. Now the difference with the version that I've been playing around with, is quite simply what I've done and I've done this in a little bit of a hurry but what I've done to show you quite simply I've got a strip of LEDs here and I've got power running and it splits because I've got two more sets of LEDs in the top here which is why when it was on the track and I'll show you again you've got the red up here and then you've got the white down here I've got a standard connector, which is like a servo type connector. If you're into model cars or model planes, you'll be quite familiar with these. So I've got this going in to a connector here, which goes then through a hole in the floor back to the wheels underneath. 
So it's quite an easy sort of setup to do, and there's not too much to it. You can buy pre-made kits, but these do cost a little bit more. Uh, I know Massoth do a digital version for it, and they're around about £20. So obviously you can do it yourself and you'll save a little bit of money. But if you look there, it doesn't look too bad. With the Massoth kit, they only have two LEDs in them, so you won't get as bright the light as what I've got here, but you'll still get something that's uh, fairly good. I've also done it in a slightly different way in another coach. This is another LGB coach. This is like a starter set one, but it's uh, a buffy wagon. If I put that on, this is a not as bright because I haven't used as bright LEDs. These are, the other ones are super high something or other, but these ones are sort of normal density. And if I just take this off, and just unplug it, what you'll notice is inside where we would normally have um, someone standing making food what i've done is i've hidden the capacitor down there and the bridge rectifier down there as well so you can't actually see if you're just looking in you won't be able to see uh what's going on apart from that which has decided to come off so i'll have to reclue that but if that wasn't there you wouldn't necessarily know there's a, a load of electronics in there underneath same sort of story it's just i haven't glued anything to the bottom here we've just got the lgb pickup wheels and these are going in to that at the bottom there and then underneath i've just got the basic version so i've just got a strip of leds at the top and a little cable running off okay so that's a quite a quick and easy way if you were to cost it up and if you already had metal wheels to buy the pickups as i said eight pound a strip of leds isn't going to cost you a tremendous amount of money um you're probably looking at about 50 pence maximum if you're going to buy it from someone like Maplins. If you buy it on eBay where you can buy in bulk, you can buy a reel of them, you'd probably be looking at even less. A capacitor isn't that expensive. And if you did want to, if you are running a digital system and uh, you wanted to put a bridge rectifier in, then that'll cost you about a pound from Maplins as well. The reason why I've got the bridge rectifier in is if I didn't have the bridge rec what it would do is on the digital setup it would make a funny buzzing noise on analog it doesn't do anything it, it's fine but with a digital setup it makes a funny noise so with the bridge rectifier it kind of stops that noise if you've got any questions feel free to post them underneath the video i hope you've enjoyed and i hope you learned something if you want any more information let me know